Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Chemistry Tutor. We're just going to continue working some additional ideal gas law problems just to give you a little more practice. So the next problem says, what volume will a mixture of 2.5 moles of nitrogen gas and 0.75 moles of oxygen gas occupy at STP? So there's a couple of interesting things going on here. First of all, we're using STP. You should already know what standard temperature and pressure is. The problem doesn't give you that. You're expected to know that, okay? And also, this is a gas mixture, so this is a little bit different too. The point of this problem is to really show you, through an example, that if you have a mixture of ideal gases, you can kind of treat them as one giant gas. So if you have an ideal gas of helium and hydrogen, or nitrogen and oxygen, or in this case, it, yeah, it is nitrogen and oxygen in this case, they're both ideal. So you can lump them together as one giant ideal gas. And so let's write everything down that we know. Uh, first of all, we know that this is occurring at standard temperature and pressure, which I should remind you, and you should already know this, is one atmosphere of pressure uh, and zero degrees Celsius. That's what standard temperature and pressure is. So, uh, in this case, the pressure is one atmosphere, because it says this happens at STP. The volume is, is what it, we're asking ourselves. It says what volume will a mixture occupy, and the number of moles. Uh, can be described as the sum of the moles of the gases we have. 2.50 plus 0.750 uh, is equal to 3.25 moles. So this is the value that you're going to put in for the gas uh, into the gas equation here. All right. Now the temperature is zero degrees Celsius, but you know by now never ever to use um, a temperature in Celsius. So what we do is we add to that 273.15 to convert to Kelvin. So the temperature we'll actually use is 273.15 Kelvin because we're just adding a zero to it. So this is the freezing point of water in terms of Kelvin temperature. And so the next question is what value of the universal gas constant should we use? Well, we're using atmospheres, we're using moles, we're using Kelvin. Um, so you want to use the value of R that's 0 0.082058 because that's liters, atmospheres, moles, and Kelvin. So since we're using atmospheres, moles, and Kelvin here, when we calculate the volume, we're going to get the answer in liters. So we just go to our friend, PV is equal to NRT. The pressure is one atmosphere, so conveniently that's just a number one. The volume is what we're trying to figure out, so that's easy. The number of moles is 3.25. The universal gas constant in the proper units is 0 0.082058. And Kelvin temperature uh, here is 273.15. So this one's really easy because on the left-hand side, we just have 1 times V, which is J. 